In this video, we're going to talk about the LibTech box knife. That's right, the big brother to the box scratcher. Camber dominant, twin, all mountain freestyle board with a lot of pop in it. Hands down, one of the best buttering boards I've ever ridden in my life, whether it was a pow butter, a groomer, or even in chunder. This board buttered like no other. This is a board that really lets you ride the mountain and have snap and response. You can muscle it or you can finesse it. It all depends on how you want to ride it as the rider. This is a board that I think more people should be looking at because of the camber profile to it and the shape. The side cut's great for rip and turns. Overall, can't say enough great things about this board. This board features Mervin's C3 camber profile, which is their take on camber 2.0. So there's an ever so slight mellow reverse camber into the camber zones underfoot and then it goes down into flat. Basically, it's a flat camber that comes down into flat. You have to load it up, it's gonna have a lot of pop, it's gonna have a lot of response to it. You're gonna feel like you're riding traditional camber with C3. This board comes in narrow, regular, wide, the box knife is one of those boards that's right around a middle of the road park flex to it. More play in the tips, and then it just stiffens up through the center with a decent amount of torsional flex to it. The shape, the camber profile, and the guts to this board do give it a stable platform on groomers or in the park. It is in really rutted out terrain that you notice you will get bucked around, but anywhere else, you're fine. This board has snap. And I can't emphasize that enough. This board really pops. The camber profile coupled with the shape, you can boost with this board. You can load it up easily and there's a lot of rebound to it. This is a board for sending it. And I mean sending it. And when you're hitting jumps, it'll destroy the park and you can take it in the back country because it's also a back country jump board. You can see that in some of the guys that film with Think Tank. This board, is very good at jumping, whether off natural features, over things, or in the park. You've got a spatula-like effect with this board based on the tip shape, and that gives you a really big platform for locking into butters. You can just ollie and land in any kind of butter variation and swivel and sizzle this board. And that carries over to jibbing. This is a board that's designed for jibbing. It locks into presses, but still has snap and pop. And that camber profile, hugs the rail perfectly, you feel locked in, and then you're gonna be able to just fly right out. This board is very well-rounded for jumping and jibbing. This board has that right blend of camber, flex, and side cut to drive it any way you want when you're on edge. It carves exceptionally well, it stays locked in, you feel stable when you're on edge, you can do long drawn out carves or tight aggressive ones. You never really have to worry. It's just solid enough for anything you throw at it. And it's got just that perfect blend going on, which makes it very versatile. This is a board for the freestyle guy that wants a do it all board, something that they can slightly downsize on and go hit jumps, but still kill it in jibs. Maybe take it in the back country off of a jump and spin with it or someone that's just hitting backyard kickers. This board is very versatile. It was one of my favorite park boards that I got to ride this year, which really surprised me because it's a new model and I wasn't expecting it to be super solid, but it was. And I was fucking impressed and you should buy one. Thank God there's no derelicts around with a box knife trying to kill me while I finish this review. So. Here's some boards that you can also be looking at instead of this short and wider, camber dominant, little freestyle fun stick. The Burton Process Flying V. The Capita Ultra Fear. The Dinosaurs Will Die Geno. The K2 Bottle Rocket. The Rome Gangplank. The Niche New. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like this video. That way you can see all the relevant work irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification. And I'll see you guys in another video. If you've been enjoying all these product reviews and you haven't been buying through our affiliate program, which is down there, why don't you check out our Patreon? 
this is a great way for you to get involved with us. There's some great rewards on there and it helps fund us so we can do more product reviews for you guys that enjoy what we're doing.